This is a tropical rainforest, just like Bosque del Alba. The temperature and humidity can be brutal. El Senegal means place of mud. No, mud. Grave. I'll watch my step. This area often gets flooded by the river. There are canals here and there carved out by water. Ah, good places to hide. But they will also make it harder for you to see. Be careful, Snake. There should be a suspension bridge around there. In lowlands like this? The ground nearby is harder and higher than usual. The river cut through it, eventually creating a valley. There might be another way to get across the river somewhere. I wouldn't want to run into someone on the bridge. The valley tends to be misty, so you might not be able to see the water from up there. Fall and it will leave more than a bump. I'll be careful. When a river floods an area, the banks can collapse, creating a marsh. You see a lot of them around here. <sighs> I'll need to watch the noise my feet make in El Senegal. There is a marsh on the other side of the river, too. The suspension bridge will take you there. The river running through here is Rio del Jade, or the Jade River. Jade? Are there minerals around here? No. It refers to the color of the water. You will have to go to Guatemala for jade. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look all that pretty from where I'm standing. We are still in the rainy season, so the river is a little muddy. It will return to normal once the dry season starts. Rivers are an important means of transport around here. They are relatively calm, and there are plenty of canals along the coast, too. A boat would be more than enough to transport some good-sized cargo. Like a nuclear weapon. Hmm. We don't know enough yet. I'll keep looking. Thank you, Snake. There's a lot of banana cultivation along Costa Rica's Caribbean coast. The area is dotted with banana plantations. Bananas have been Costa Rica's main crop since they were introduced from Panama in the 19th century. They bring in a fair amount of foreign currency. A real fruta de oro, huh? See, si, but exporting all those bananas require a ton of land. Hence, all the plantations. Clearing all that forest just to grow bananas robs animals of their habitats. I do not know how good that is for Costa Rica in the end. Panama disease was rampant here about 20 years ago, putting a lot of banana plantations out of business. Panama disease? It is caused by a type of fungus. Apparently it killed off almost all the banana species that used to grow here. How could that happen? Cultivated bananas do not produce seeds. You have to remove and transplant part of the stem yourself. You plant them in the fields. So you've got acres of identical plants? See, when one plant is infected, the disease spreads quickly. Species lacking genetic diversity become weak. They grow different bananas today. One said to be resistant to Panama disease. 